I want to grow this back a little bit because I, I'll be honest, baby face. Afternoon or evening, what is up? My name is Marta. That was like the perfect way to stretch. How are you guys doing? My name is Marta. Welcome to the vlog. Welcome to Volos Vibes. Welcome to another gray day. But it's nice and green outside, so that definitely makes a big plus. We have like fruit still on trees and fireplaces on inside and it's nice and warm actually because of that. It is not as crazy hot as it was when in winter because in winter we had this one on because of Jason, our baby, all the time because it was a little bit too cold in here. Now I have to say it's also like 19 degrees inside the house. It's a little chill, you need to wear a vest and especially with my bald baby face and my short hair. A little short this time I have to say guys. I, I will read your comments. I understand your, your opinions. I have to agree with you. It's a little short this time. But hey, that means that I don't need to go for another few, four weeks and that's a benefit because maybe that's a, not that much of interest for you you guys but uh, my hairdresser is going to do like a renovation so I cannot go for a while as well fine Jason is spending a lot of time with his grandma and we're gonna eat nice so much food I guess our baby boy loves balls. Well, these kind of balls, by the way. And and those balls, but let's keep it just with those, okay? Best thing in the world is definitely when Jason is having a good, good laugh. Worst time in the world is when Jason is super, super tired and crying and doing ah, and that's right now going on. You don't hear him anymore because he's now quiet finally, but anyway, I've got my little editing station here again. We're gonna edit and then we're gonna have visitors and I'm super excited for him to come over here because they've never been here and you've seen them. Now, because we are of course in Nausa, they are super hospital here. Hospital? Hospitable? Hospitable? Hospitable. I don't know exactly, but they, they love to have people coming over. In this case, there are our friends that are coming over, and I kind of like that. So they really want to show up, not show off, but they're like, oh, yes, now we're going to make this, and we're going to make this, and there's so many nice things that are right now made. They also do it for us when we come, of course, but it's different a little bit. It's just when you have visitors, you want to show them a lot of things. So I'll show you in a second what they really made, and... Uh, it's good food. Walking around a little bit around the house because Ilona now put Jason to sleep. I love this garden. I told already so many times in the vlog, but if you're new to the vlog... Hello, welcome. <laughs> but Ilona's grandpa has an entire garden here in the back with all kinds of tomatoes and fruits and vegetables. And I see onions grow again in the back there as well. I see lettuce grow in the back there. There are some uh, strawberries starting to grow here. We've got some mint or lahana, I don't know exactly. Oh, there's some parsley growing in the back there. I don't know a lot about fruits and vegetables or about plants, but I can recognize them most of the times. And it's good, you should. I think that everybody in life... Oh, that's actually celery. I just said parsley, but... I think it's actually celery, no? Or celery. If I'm wrong, I'm making a fool of myself right now, of course, but it looks like it. It's not parsley, at least. What I want to say is that a lot of people these days don't know actually anymore what what is they will not recognize for example a potato plant growing somewhere so i think it's very important that you know a little bit of it and that's also what we want to give to jason and luckily we've got a very good grandpa here that knows all that kind of stuff that he can tell and my dad knows a lot of a lot about st that stuff so yeah this people is bamboo just so you know <laughs> Ooh, 
It's like 20, 21 degrees outside or something. And the only thing I hear around me are birds. And silence. And it's nice. If you might think, hmm, Marta, what are you wearing? Like, what are you looking like? How's your style? Why do you look like a homeless gypsy right now or something? Like with your training, I hate this style. Or let's say I hate to wear it like outside of the house. I usually like to get dressed normally, like for your everyday going out, you know, just nice button-up shirt or something, or t-shirt and then nice trousers underneath and your shoes. And that's how I got raised, that you wear your nice clothes also around in the house. But in Greece it's way more standard, and especially in this household, to walk around in like your PJs, you know, like your comfy clothes pretty much. And it also saves your nicer clothes, is what Ilona says, and she has a point in that. But the people that are coming over right now, she said that why are you wearing such a nice clothes in the house? I mean, you're at home, right? So why would you wear something nice? I said, yeah, I feel nice like that. So because they're coming now again, I decided to like, okay, I'm just gonna wear what she said that I should wear around the house. I also didn't shave, I mean, and I want to grow this back a little bit because I, I'll be honest, baby face. Who remembers this little girl? And I thought back then it was a boy. Huh? Who remembers you? Ilona, I thought my parents lived remote somewhere in Trochala, all the way up on the mountain. No, I told you this and I, uh, nobody knows. Nobody knows this. <laughs> Jason. So they're just texting and they found out like, hey, this address does not exist on the GPS. So you will not be able to find it, maybe, but I don't know. Venetia, Makus, Felicity. We found them in the middle of uh, the center. We found them in the middle of the center, but we found them. And now we're guiding them back to your house. Which is up there somewhere. Further. They found it. <laughs> they found it. Jason, do you know what your mom just said to your dad, by the way? Huh? Do you know what your mom just said to your dad? She said that I was Marius. That was, also, who's Marius? Marius, Marius <laughs> who's Marius? I'm in love with my boss. Oh. Hello, 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 hello. 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 Θέλει και να κλάψει και να γυλάσει μαζί. Δεν ξέρει τι πρέπει να κάνει. Μα πολλές φορές παιδιά όταν γελάνε βγαίνει νευρικό από φόβο. I don't think he's enjoying it. No. So in all honesty, I thought that he would not be scared for the ball, but he is scared for the ball a little bit. Now, one of the tasty things was tiropita that was almost burned upstairs, and he got it. Martin, is he vrak? Martin, vrak? What's that? Vrak. Vrak, I'm a vrak. <laughs> Hinkali is, uh, there's another vlog up there and it's a uh, meatloaf with like all kinds of herbs and everything inside the dough and then boiled. Super tasty. And it's made with love. Με αγάπη το κάνετε. Αγάπη ναι, αλλά δεν ξέρω τι. Γεύση δεν ξέρετε. Ναι, όχι, όχι. Αγάπη δεν βάλω μία. Αγάπη έχει. See, they look, out, they, they look like these first and then they go in the boiling hot water, which is uh, ready there and they go in there just for a moment. Πιωρέ είναι κασαρόλα. And it's so tasty. And when Sergio and Venetia heard it was Hikali, they were like, oh, yes. See, they take a piece of dough, they make it flat all the way, and then they go, they put in a little bit of uh, kima, or meatloaf, or minced meat, actually, with all kinds of herbs in there. And then there's this technique.
На камеру у меня хреново получается. This is Mamaliga. Зуста, да не не? А, не. Mamaliga. And we've got su... How? Sulugun. Sulugun. And I don't say it exactly correct, but Sergio knows because he knows Russian, and so does me and Tia. We showed it actually in the vlog already one time. The last time also we made that. Just the sauce, but this was chicken. Last time we had it with fish. No, yeah, Grandpa's telling now that this has the juice still inside and you suck it out. You suck it out, otherwise it goes all over your face. Ah, hard to put this. We need some, we need some hard to put this. Sergio has been like really waiting for this food. Sergio has been waiting for this food. He loves it. It's not the most like sexy thing to eat because you have to like... It's so good. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> It's very hot. Look at this table filling up slowly. It's so nice. It's nice to have you here. Mm -hmm. And Jason is uh, done with his. What did he eat? Rice and um, carrot. Carrot. And And it's morning, so uh, good morning. Same couch, same position. Said you and Vanity are not there. That's because they just woke up and they're doing their thing. This mister here woke us up at five o'clock in the morning and decided it was morning. Ilona tried to put him back to sleep until nine o'clock, but no. Look at him sit there right now. He is so sweet though. You cannot get angry at him. Not now at least. Yeah, I know you're hungry also, huh? <laughs> some, some, some butthole comes almost on the screen here. Hmm? There's the butt. There, the butthole. He needs to eat. <sighs> Last night we just sat at the table all the time and I was like, okay, it's nice, food and drinks. And then I'm like, oh, I didn't film anything. And then we put him to sleep and everybody went to bed. <laughs> it was literally already late when we ate also. So I didn't I vlog that much it. anymore, but it was a very nice evening. What? I think he likes it. He likes you to eat his ear? Ilana's eating his ear. It's very tasty. She's a cannibal. Yeah, I hope you like this vlog. Tomorrow is gonna be an even better vlog because then we have the guys be is still here and then we're gonna go somewhere at least, which is always good, of course, because you want to see around now is how it is, of course. I hope you like it. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below. Happy Easter already, Kaliana Sissi, for everybody who's uh, Orthodox. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope to see you next one. Bye.